Hey guys, and welcome back to Urban Strike. By God, it's been a while since we played this, hasn't it? So, continuing our uh, campaign through the Strike series, we finally have come to Urban Strike. The final 2D top-down um, Mega Drive version of this game. And, well... What could be said about Urban Strike? It's uh, different. It's the most <sighs> evolved, I think, is fair to say. Uh, I think they've pushed the visuals about as far as they could and the sound design. Um, they also massively dialed back the difficulty due to complaints from um, Jungle Strike of being too hard. Now, Jungle Strike is a hard game. But it wasn't, it wasn't impossible. Um, they've also added a few interesting little uh, extras with this game as well, uh, which we'll get into as and when we get to them. I think it has the same nine level setup as the previous game, which is nice. Uh, it's a bit shorter though. Uh, there are some missions that are just fairly short. Again, we will cover that when we get to it. And I think think it has my favorite rendition of the strike theme listen to that that can only have been brought to you by the uh, sound chip in the mega drive anyway much more cinematic than the others friends it's time to take back america with our volunteer angel patrols we will rid the streets of criminal scum Together, we shall channel our energies into showing our so-called leaders how America ought to be run, I think. Malone! 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 Hmm. Malone, eh? Interesting. Great show tonight, Mr. Malone. You sent for me? We're running into some static at a Hawaii station, and I want you to check it out. What seems to be the problem? The United Special Forces team have discovered our plan. I suspect someone in our organization is broadcasting information to the Strike Corps. What do you need me to do? I want you to fly to Hawaii and oversee the operation. We must deal with this Strike Force or our plans for the super weapon may fail. I'll handle it. I know how these guys operate. So I've learned. My son will drive you to the airport in my private limousine. Enjoy your flight. Hmm. Ivory Tower. Come in. Ivory Tower. This is Agent Ego. Yes, remember him from the last game. We read you, Ego. I've infiltrated Malone's lair, but I think he's on to me. He's building a deadly super weapon, and it's the first component is in Hawaii. I've seen blueprints, and this thing could take out a skyscraper in a single blast. Oof. It's powered by a huge... Uh, I've got to go. I'll tell you the rest from the limo. You go out. Yeah, that seems smart. His son's going to be driving you, and you're going to be blabbing. Oh. I guess not. There's our lead story tonight's news. Crime bosses assassinate son of... Crusading media leader. Real story is, switch channels on Malone and you'll get cancelled. Hoo <laughs> savage. So Malone just wasted his son to take out a mole. Hello? Commander, looks like your vacation is going to be cut short. I knew I shouldn't have brought this phone. <laughs> Still, our friend HR Malone is up to his old tricks again. So what's the plan? Lucky for you, the disturbance is right in there in Hawaii. Meet us in our mobile command post uh, in 30 minutes. Aloha, fruit drinks away. <laughs> I love it. So, <clears throat> yes, a continuation pretty much straight on from Jungle Strike, which is cool. So, Agent Ego has uh, infiltrated Malone's camp. And, well, he got cancelled pretty hardcore. Now, if you remember back to Jungle Strike, Ego was one of the co-pilots that you could choose. We've got all sorts of different dudes here. I believe... Ah, interesting. 
Outback. I thought it said bear back, but I was like, wait, what? <laughs> um, yeah, so unfortunately no ego to choose from. He is now in bits. So we have Willy. Bravo. Okay, a freedom fighter. He can put a clip of bullets into the air and sign his name with them. Mm, magazine. <clears throat> Jill. She's called Legal. Aircraft weapons are her life. Makes good pilots look great and leaves bad guys full of holes. I like her style. Peter. Too many action films for him. Fast on the draw and strong as an ox, but lacks concentration. Mm, sounds like me. I definitely lack concentration. Um, so, Mark. When the going gets tough, the smart look up to Mark. Jack of all trades. He's great. Jack of all trades. Master of none. Uh, Eric. Or Eric. New to the team. An untested. Partnered with an experienced pilot. I think he'll do just fine. Jim gambles on horses, never with his pals' lives. I know who I would want in the win uh, at the winch. Then Simon. Hey, he's from the UK. Basically James Bond. I mean, look at him. Jesus. Uh, an eagle-eyed sharpshooter. Loves his craft. Everything else takes second place to him. And Atsuko. An ex-smuggler with a sixth sense. She can winch and shoot bad guys at the same time. Hmm, okay, so who should we have for our co-pilot? Spoiler, it literally makes no difference because we will be getting legal pretty much straight away. Uh, let's go with the English guy, because why not? Press start to play. Let's do it. Welcome back, Commander. Our target this time is HR Malone. Not only is Malone one of the richest men in the world, but he's recruited millions of fanatic followers ever since he lost that presidential election a few years ago. Yeah, the dude could sell invisible ink to a counterfeiter. He's been buying up choice real estate in all 50 states and Mexico to use his training camps. Oof. For his paramilitary organizations, he's hired renegade weapons experts and former generals who became mercenaries in the wake of military cutbacks. Did we send someone to get his plans? Yes, Agent Ego. But he won't be coming back. That makes it personal. Ego was my buddy. We flew together in the jungle campaigns. We did. What happened? Malone penetrated his cover and shut him up with a car bomb. But not before Ego uncovered Malone's plan to build some sort of super weapon. Malone has an attack squad right here on Hawaii, implementing Phase 1. That's where you come in. I was wondering why you pay me the big bucks. We need to investigate his attacks on four observatories. He's been stealing their 30 foot mirrors, but we don't have a clue what he wants with them. Sounds like he's got a personal hygiene problem. <laughs> we also think it's not the real HR Malone. Uh, he can tell us the true identity of our madman. The surgeon fears for his life and is hiding on the islands. Locate the surgeon and we'll know who this evil genius is. Great, another evil genius. Why can't I ever fight an evil idiot? Yeah, amen. We've got the new Mohican attack chopper waiting for you outside. Download the missions to your wrist communicator and prepare for flight. Good luck, Commander. Risk communicator. Ugh. I remember when that sounded so cool. So yes, with a new campaign and a new game comes a new helicopter, the Mohican. Uh, it's not based on any real world helicopter this time, as far as I can tell anyway. It's okay. It's... Uh, I don't think it's as fun as the Apache or the um, Super Comanche from the previous two games they kind of went with their own kind of design and you know it is what it is uh, it has a thousand points of armor 100 fuel pretty standard stuff um it has nine missiles 60 rockets and a thousand rounds of ammo so here we are once again we are in playing urban strike in urban areas and we start off in a jungle as my friend h pointed out yeah, best not to think too much about it. Anyway, 
So, mission one, visitor center. Two radar sites mounted on visitor center buildings. Malone's men have taken over two of the visitor center's buildings and are covering the north side of the islands with an alert zone. Knock out the radar sites. Aye. Now, that is our machine gun. This is unacceptable. So if we hold down the fire button and push the start button on the 8-bit dough, we of course get auto fire. Now this is the way I played them as, uh, the game as a kid and it's the way I'm going to be playing the LP. Only the guns are auto fired. Look at these cute little things here. They go boom nicely. Yes, hear the new sound effects from uh, uh, in this game. They are way more meaty and the visuals are a little bit more detailed. Um, there's definitely kind of a cartoony look to it. Now remember I said that we wouldn't be having our uh, co-pilot for long. Well, here's legal. Hey, legal. Beach party get a little out of hand. Want to give them something to remember you by? Sure. I don't know why we're holding her up like that. Seems a bit weird. And where even are we? We're, we're in like another fucking dimension or something. Uh, apparently the Mohican has a massive like uh, cargo area in the back. Kind of like all the other helicopters that we've had previously. Right, let's destroy that uh, Mohican. This isn't the only Mohican that Strike Corps has developed, apparently. So Strike Corps seems to be getting quite big. You know, it was a kind of special task force in Jungle Strike, and uh, it was kind of a more impressive organization in um, Jungle Strike. And we're now at the point where they have their own massive military budget and can produce their own helicopters, which is interesting. Right, so let's start taking these things apart. The Mohican is a savage helicopter, and I do like it. There is a hell of a lot to blast away on this level. Now, that is a new thing in this game. A new feature of this game, I should say. There are certain things... Oh, fucker blew himself up. You can pick things up, and you can drop things by pushing the C button, which you need to be careful with. I cannot stress that enough. You need to be careful with pushing the C button, because some things you can drop and make go boom, you do not want to drop and make go boom, because it's bad and you get in trouble. But that's fine. Right. Anyway, let's start lighting this place up. Lots of armor, lots of ammo, lots of fuel, as you'd imagine, on the first mission. So that's the first mission completed. Now, before we do the second, we're going to get a few things. We're going to go get ourselves a quick winch. And might as well rescue this woman in red as well. Ada, is that you? Probably not. Ada would be too busy kicking ass. Right, not bad. Now, what else do we have? There is... Elvis around here somewhere. I've seen a lot of people think that uh, this is like the king of Hawaii or something, but if you look at him and squint, yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious the king. It's, it's Elvis. Uh, I don't know if he's in every mission. I thought he was, but uh, from what I can understand and looking at certain guides and playtesting quite a bit this game off camera, I don't think he is on every mission. Um, but we'll 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 cover that as and when we can. Right. So anyway, mission two: telescope mirrors. So recover four telescope mirrors to uh, take to the barge in the northeast corner. Don't drop them. Yeah. Remember when I said you can drop things with the A? Yeah, the A button, not the C button. It's bad. And also, it goes without saying, if you've picked up an item on the winch, um. You cannot pick up items. Track down the enemy armoured truck stealing the mirrors and blast them. Airlift the cargo to the barge and hover over the landing uh, pad to unload them. Yeah, we need fuel though. There should be fuel around here somewhere. So we've got landing zones. Uh, these pads are safe drop-off points for MIAs and POWs. Your vehicle's armour is increased for each person you drop off here. Uh, armor repair toolbox. When you pick up an armor repair box, your armor is restored to full strength. It is. Ammo crate contains a full reload of firearms. Pick up ammo crates to reload your weapons. You cannot carry more than a full load. Fuel drums contain 100 units of fuel. I'm glad they changed that from 100 gallons because that didn't really make much sense. I mean, 100 units of fuel could be anything. Uh, pick up fuel drums. When you're low on fuel, your vehicle cannot hold more than a full load. Yeah. So, we've got AA bunkers, anti-aircraft bunkers. 
75 points of armor so three rockets would waste that they do two points of damage so you'd have to get hit by 500 rounds before it would destroy you just a noise maker mega uh, might hurt your ears but not your fuselage the last thing to take out in a firefight yeah there's a few of them uh, then we have the xp bulldog uh, armor 100 so we're going to waste this sucker with a hellfire does five points of damage which again is not much this tracks highly maneuverable ground vehicle takes perimeter patrol duties in difficult situations yeah it, it doesn't look like it's tracked it looks like it's got wheels and then we have the Z uh, x4 gator gunboat 150 armor so one hellfire and two um, rockets will dust this bastard computer design for optimal aquatic camouflage really I mean, they don't they don't really camouflage but okay seem to form from the surface scum and vanish back into it mm -hmm. so strike core barrage ready for drop off of mirrors our barge is located northeast corner of the area uh, landing personnel will assist you in unloading the cargo they will and let's go scoop up our mirrors let's go grab some go juice first pretty sure there's some down here actually maybe in this building uh nope are you really gonna make me look for fuel ammo nope i knew there was fuel here somewhere honest i did not bad okay let's go grab some juice all right you can get out of here buddy this is probably the one with fuel in it is not all right let's get rid of that bulldog and that's exactly what we're looking for let's crack that bastard open and take this mirror back to the barge 30 foot mirror huh? well hot stuff coming through now it's tempting oh god that is one thing that can happen they actually shot the bloody ah oh, shit we destroyed the armor crack that's fine they actually shot the bloody um mirror out from under me that can happen and it's annoying that can happen later on in uh, uh, more extreme circumstances and there's another helicopter there there is a few different vehicles in this game uh, and we will be getting to them right let's go drop one mirror we only actually have to save two mirrors but you know that's not how we roll we might as well waste this for if we can don't really like doing missions out of order uh, but it does help here because we're going to be flying past this quite a lot with mirrors and we are out oh god we're totally out of weapons <laughs> damn we're dry all right let's go scoop up some more rounds give me some ammo uh yeah we'll take some armor sure why not if it's there, we'll have them. We'll have them. Um, right. Oh, God. Uh, guess you don't have the ammo. Ah, bugger. The ammo's... No? Where's your ammo, dude? I bet you have got ammo, haven't you? Do I have to break this thing open? Yes. Okay. That works. <laughs> we just break it open with our face. It's fine. Dude, seriously? No. Now, we can pretty much destroy anything on this level. We don't really get in trouble for anything. So, when in doubt, we're going to blow everything up. Uh, oh, destroy these as well. Uh, I don't think we have to. Oh, God. Oh, no, that's fine. It's just a noisemaker. Yeah, we can destroy these. I don't think there's ever anything good in them. I mean, the only thing that's any good in these is obviously the mirrors, and they've been stolen. So, we're going to rescue that lady, because why not? You can die. And you can die. Yeah, you will pretty much destroy everything just from flying around this level. Or at least you'll destroy like 80% of the opposition anyway. Now, see, we're flying straight through the middle there, which would be um, loaded up with stealth boats, but because we destroyed the two in the middle, that's fine. So we don't actually need to get the second one, but you know as well as uh, me, we're going to clean sweep these levels if we can, and uh, I'm pretty sure we can. So 
we're going to be completing all the objectives and destroying all the enemies that appear on the map. And I always say we're only going to destroy the ones that appear on the map because, um, you know, I can't guarantee that I'm going to find every little enemy on the map because we'd be here forever. And we're out of fuel again. Damn, I guess the Mohican's not very fuel efficient. Uh, I guess, uh... Oh, God damn it. That was fuel, wasn't it? That was, yes. And the next fuel is quite far away. I think it's easier in this one to destroy things that are hidden in enemy, uh, inside enemies. <clears throat> it just seems to be easier. I don't know why. I might as well waste him as well. There's the juice. Uh, the maps as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure the maps are pretty small. Um, I will show you how big this map is in a minute. It looks big there. It's pr it's not even half of that. I, I don't know why the Strike Games did this. I don't know why they have these massive, impressive-looking uh, maps that look huge when they really aren't. Now, I was going to destroy that boat, but let's get this mirror back first. Now, we've completed the mission, so we can't actually get a failure for having the mirror destroyed, but let's not uh, tempt fate too much. Right, stealth ships, of which there's only one left. Stealth ships, codename Shadow. Eliminate the stealth ships. Stop them before they escape with the stolen mirrors. Yeah, well, one of the mirrors is dusted and the other ships are sunk, so I think they failed. In proper strike... Um... Bullshit. Uh, this guy's got lots of money and lots of advanced weapons that he probably shouldn't have. So let's go nab the plastic surgeon now. Don't know where they get all this money from. And technically this is the guy that we fragged in the bus from the last mission. Uh, the last game, I should say. Uh, so he's become the madman twice now. Um, which is two fortunes that he's now blasted on weapons that defy all logic anyway uh rescue the plastic surgeon rescue the plastic surgeon in the jungle he can tell us the true identity of malone get him out alive there are some more triggers in this game um that will give you instant failure compared to the other games uh i believe from what i can remember anyway uh but the overall difficulty is is nowhere near as high as it was in Jungle Strike. And there's our plastic surgeon. For some reason, he's being defended by a machine gun turret. And how do you think we save this plastic surgeon? That's right, we blow him out of his house. Literally blast him out. Enemy bridge. Blow up enemy bridge. Transfer into the Black Hawk chopper and destroy the bridge and the vehicles protecting the small island. This will secure the island from further attacks. Yeah, I mean, it tells you to transfer into the other helicopter, the Black Hawk, but the Black Hawk's kind of shit um, when it comes to fighting, so we're not going to bother with that. I think it's got a lot more armor, uh, and it can hold 20 people instead of... Uh, I think this one holds 6. Yeah, it does hold 6. Ooh. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, from a weapon standpoint as well, the Black Hawk's crap. It's, well, with, you'll see it in a minute anyway. Alright, the best thing to do with this is to just pepper it with our machine gun. A little bit like this. And we're going to destroy everything. We only actually have to destroy this in a few key places, but we're going to do as much damage to it as we can. I'm pretty sure they can just rebuild this bridge anyway. It's only made of bloody balsa wood or something. There we go. Now, as a kid, I used to fly around this bridge for quite a while, trying to destroy as much of it as possible. There we go. That's pretty much scrapped it anyway. Right, he's gone. Now, Green Berets, they're all that's left. Now, the Green Berets, we will need the Black Hawk for. Well, we don't need the Black Hawk. We don't need the Black Hawk for anything, but... We will take it. Fuel drums, ammo. Look how much like ammo and fuel and shit there is. There's so much. Right, I'm gonna oh fuck. Really? Get out of here. 
I will show off the Black Hawk just because. It's weird the way they've got the weapon so, uh, set up on it. If I transfer over to it. I mean, it's a big beast. It's got a lot of armor. And it doesn't really look like a Black Hawk. But your C button, and it only fires every time you push the button, is this weird machine gun that I don't think actually does uh, any more damage than the normal machine gun. It's also really inaccurate. The only real point of it is uh, I guess they could be bothered to come up with another weapon. I don't know. It's weird. But by using auto fire we can actually put out quite a lot of machine gun fire. Which is interesting. Yeah, look how hard it was to actually kill that guy with the machine guns. It's rubbish. But never mind. It does have its uses. Now, let's... Oh, God. So, we're on the last mission now. Which is the Green Berets. Green Berets hiding in the jungle. Look for purple smoke signal. Uh, look for purple smoke signal. Bomb on South Island. Hover and auto unload an eradication bomb onto the uh, smoke flare in the southwest jungle. The blast the clearing and then get our troops out. Snipers may fire on the clearing. Yeah, snipers will fire on the clearing, but that's fine. Right, let's go grab this uh, eradication bomb, which is kind of like a daisy cutter, really. My mate Ant used to talk about the daisy cutters all the time. Okay, now. Let's go pick these guys up. Every time we pick somebody up, uh, another sniper, as the game says, will appear. But that's fine. We'll just let them spawn to show them just how weak and pathetic they are. They really aren't much to worry about at all. There we go. Now, you don't have to save everybody. There's always a little bit of overhang in these strike games. Well, <laughs> they certainly destroyed me a bit quicker than I thought. What I used to like doing on that level is I would save everybody and then I would shred everybody with these guns. There we go. Beautiful. It doesn't matter. I lose one life. Now, that really, this dude was just sitting there chipping away at our health. Um, now, I did say that if we had any fails, I would leave them in. So, I mean, I'm kind of tempted to redo this mission so we don't get any deaths. But, yeah, I'll leave it in. Why not? Why the devil not? It's not as if it makes any difference at all. Um, now, what do we have left? Do we have... There's a gator up there. There's no bulldogs left. And there's one bunker left. Right, let's go take him out. A bit of sweet revenge. Oh. Really? Oh, yeah. There you go. Armor destroyed again. Uh, in the later levels, I think we're going to have to be way more careful of how we destroy enemies. Now, do you remember uh, in, the, uh, in the last two games, we didn't destroy half as many um, pickups as you do in this game. It just... Your weapons definitely auto-lock onto the pickups. I mean, there was a little bit of that in Jungle Strike, but in this, it's really evident. Um, you know, stray rounds just waste uh, just about anything that's under there. So, we're going to have to be very cautious indeed. Anyway, I mean, that's basically this mission done. We have died on the first level. Ugh. <laughs> but never mind. It was my own doing anyway. Right, let's go grab this up. It does go to show just how tough the uh, Black Hawk chopper is. I think they call it a Black Hawk anyway. Uh, yeah, they actually call it a Black Hawk, even though it's a tan helicopter. Not that that matters, but I just thought I'd point it out. Definitely doesn't look like a Black Hawk. But it's a fun helicopter to play with anyway. And yep, we just face nudged the tent pole there for good measure. Ah, uh, CLZ. Lel. <laughs> hey, there goes the king. Now, if we look at our end of mission score, it will actually say the, 
the king has been rescued or something. There we go. Enemy speedboat destroyed. Bazooka destroyed. Plastic surgeon. Missing co-pilot found. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Lots of points. The king sighted. There we go. Oh, like I said, I don't know if he's on every mission. I'm not sure. And the Mohican technology protected. And that's because, obviously, we destroyed uh, the shot down Mohican. And there we go, guys. And there's our password. So that is the first mission, Hawaii. I hope you've enjoyed this. I have. When we come back, well, I think we're going to go pay Malone's or oil rigs a little bit of a visit. But that's for next time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time. Now, before we get into the actual video as well, I did say in the last video that I was going to show you how big the map is. Uh, when you look at the whole screen there, it looks like the map is pretty damn sizable. It is not, when you think about it, because this is the bottom here, as you can see, just by the uh, load number. And if we fly right over the other side to the complete edge of the map, which really ain't that far away. Oh, I forgot about these guys as well. I grab these guys yep <laughs> save the guys from the sharks because you know we're nice and then this here is the end of the map so it's, it's only about wow a third of the actual screen there at a push which is kind of interesting anyway guys enjoy the video hey guys just a quick word before the next uh, mission starts I've had to replay the first mission again because, uh, like a fool, I forgot to save state the game. Lel. Um, and replaying it, I have discovered an extra life. Which, now I've discovered it, I actually did know about it. But I forgot. So I'm going to chuck it in here in case anyone else is playing along. So there is actually an extra life uh, on this mission. There's probably extra ones as well. But this is the only one I've found so far. So, thanks for watching guys. And enjoy the next video.